pillars are going to change. Hey everybody, we are going to wrap these jack posts with wooden columns that we had to special order from Home Depot. They are both going to be 12 inch columns so they match. The reason why you had to go with 12 inch is because this thing was a double post and it was pretty wide. As you can see, we used to have a square uh, post around there made with drywall, but we're going fancy. And here they are, here are the columns just arrived uh, just about 20 minutes ago. And here are the capitals and the bases. So let's open these up and see what we've got. Okay, the boxes are all opened. As you can see, I have had these columns split. So I can wrap them around the posts. And this little one is for the home theater entrance, which you can see in another video. Now I'm going to work on getting it to fit and wrap around that. All right, we have the half the column in place. Just testing the height. We have to raise it up about an inch and a quarter. You can see it is split to wrap around the double posts. And we're gonna glue the two halves together. Okay, so we're doing the base of the pillars. We've assembled our split circles. We've put these uh, dovetails in to good to get them uh, secure. You can see we're just glue in there. So that's the dovetail holding the two together. This is the spacer to raise it up to the right height. I'm gonna put that in there. Mm -hmm. Clamp it. Screw it in from the bottom so we don't see the screw holes. Then we're going to take our fancy, seat. fancy ring. It's going to go around. That's why we have the monkey ears on it. All right. So we can get around the double post. And we'll get it all attached. Once that's attached, we'll, we'll actually work on the capital, the top part. And let it all dry. Slide it up to the ceiling. Up, and we'll screw up, it into up, the ceiling. Up to the 15, 16, 18 foot ceiling. Yeah, maybe seven and a half. And a little more. <laughs> and we'll <laughs> screw that in. Then we'll stick the pillars on. And you saw the dry fit uh, shot earlier. So, let's get to it. That's it? That's it. Okay, signing off. I'd like to introduce Greg. Go ahead, talk. Okay, so we are now putting on the capitals. If you look up, we've screwed in and pre-painted so we don't paint up the ceiling, the frame. And then this thing is going to now slide up. Is that a toilet seat? A little bit. We left the paper down. So that's going to go all the way up and get screwed onto there. And then I should watch it through here. <laughs> it'll be time for columns. Did you cut out the sand? Excellent. We have wrapped the double post with half half of the uh, column we screwed it in just to hold it in place while we glue the sides here and then we're going to screw them together for a nice tight accurate hold
Okay, the pillars are done. They are in place. A little bit of crack filler here and there. Let that dry. And then sand it smooth. Oh wait, he's already sanding it smooth even though it's wet. No. It's clogging up the sandpaper. And there you have it, the columns are finished. The carpet is in, they are painted, and looking mighty glorious compared to the beginning of the project. Isn't that nice? And there you go. Beautiful wood columns and a popcorn maker niche. And you can check out my other video on how I made that by clicking on the link and you can also check out another video on how I made my home theater entrance by clicking on this link. There you have it. The columns are done. Click one of these videos for more great Burke Bunch TV. And don't forget to subscribe. And here is the finished popcorn niche. The home theater is finished on the inside. It's time to take a look. You can see I've got the movie posters on the walls.